it's all done. So a few weeks ago, I posted a picture of vegetarian borscht on my Facebook page. And I got so many requests asking me to show you how to make it. So guess what we'll be making for lunch today? That's right, we're making borscht. This recipe is so dear to my heart, and as some of you might know, I'm Russian. So I've been eating borscht my entire life. My mom makes it, my grandma's used to make it, and now it's my turn. And I'm really excited to share a part of my culture with you guys. The recipe that I will show you is a traditional way of preparing borscht in Russia, minus the meat. Usually you would put beef in borscht. But we've been preparing vegetarian borscht for the past couple of years now, and I think it tastes amazing. I usually end up having two portions at once. So I will also show you how to incorporate borscht into your lunch so you can take it to work or school. So let's get started. This lunch will consist of a vegetarian borscht, and as a snack, I'm going to bring this homemade energy bar with me. We're going to start by taking two medium-sized beets and scrubbing them under running water. Then I'm going to peel the beets and usually I just do it right in the sink to avoid the mess. Grate the beets using a hand grater or a food processor, like this. Next, take a large carrot, peel it and grate it as well. Heat up one tablespoon of olive oil over medium-high heat in a large pot. Add the shredded beets and carrots and stir it all together. Then take one tomato, I usually remove the skin but you don't have to, and dice it. Add it to the pot and stir again. Next, add two tablespoons of water and the juice of a half of a lemon. Reduce the heat to low and simmer for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, peel five potatoes and dice them or cut them into strips. Now, to save yourself some time, instead of adding cold water to the pot, we're going to boil two liters of water in a kettle. And after 20 minutes of simmering, stir the beets and add your boiled water. You want to pour enough water to almost fill the entire pot, leaving just enough space for potatoes and cabbage. Bring to a boil and add 1 tablespoon of salt. Then add the potatoes. Shred half of a cabbage and add it to our soup. Let it cook like this for a few minutes. Meanwhile, dice a small onion. Add 1 teaspoon of olive oil to a skillet and saute the onion until it becomes golden. Add the onion to borscht and stir. Now add 5 to 7 whole black peppers and 4 bay leaves. Cut 3 garlic cloves and add them to the pot. And finally add 1 tablespoon of dried parsley. Stir all that goodness and let it cook for another 5 to 10 minutes. Now our vegetarian Russian borscht is done. To serve the borscht, pour it while it's still hot in your favorite bowl. You can have it just like this, or you can try to be truly Russian and add some sour cream or mayo to your borscht. You can also garnish it with some fresh herbs. I just use green onions. Your borscht is ready to be served! And if you're having borscht at home and not planning on interacting with people that day, you can also have some garlic with your soup. But I'm warning you, you're going to smell like garlic for the entire day. To bring borscht with you for lunch, simply heat it up if it's cold and pour it in a thermos container. I suggest you do not bring the garlic with you. Wrap the energy bar in a saran wrap and now your lunch is ready to go. If you guys want me to show you how to make energy bars at home, just leave a comment for me down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends so they can also have a taste of Russian cuisine. If you want to make borscht with meat, I will post a separate recipe on my Facebook page explaining how to prepare the meat and also at which point you should add it to the soup. So check it out and I don't think you need to have a Facebook account in order to see my page, so don't worry about that. If you guys want to see more Russian-inspired recipes in the future, leave a comment for me down below. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate all of your support. And I'm sending you huge hugs, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!